Thanks for messing around. Vampire Survivors Beswick 126 continues in the bone zone as Mian brings the festivities. All right, time for Mian to face the power of the bone zone and the boss rash. Let's do it. Good old silent old sanctuary. Nothing quite like it. Now I do have quite the number of options, but because of the lack of healing here, it will be Sarah Bond Dave healing. Already off to a great start. Jalhamador, make it bigger. Give me more money or experience. Rolla, spinach, Toronus box, and empty tomb. Spellbinder does have its place here, but not one I'm willing to use right now. Not for the bone zone or boss rash. I right, get them both up. Gotta get Pomerola to max in order to evolve from the festive winds. Yeah, it's already going so much better. I can just feel the difference with a good weapon. Okay, crown it up. She is the queen of Mount Moonspell. Get more of these petals going out. Pomola, Pomola. Defensive and offensive. So on a scale of 0 to 101, how bad is my singing? People laugh at me when they uh, they sing. It hurts my feelings because I totally have those things. Now, well, Toronto's box is not showing up easy, eh? I have nothing in Empty Tome, do I? More crown, more glory. Yeah, this one should be nice and relaxing after the disasters that have been falling me recently. Some of the Among Us crew is just not that strong. Most of them are not that strong. It's like red, blue, pink. Orange is okay, but everyone else, both purples, Almeglo is okay, but horse and regular arena are terrible, and shapeshifter is not particularly great either. Oh hey, I can boost my way up north, grab that silver ring. In fact, I should do that now before I run out of things to level up. Eight health. That's odd. Should be 16, right? Because it's doubled from Sarabande. Well, I guess the number is what the number is. Well, I don't really guess. I see it on the screen. So the number is what it is, and I just misrepresented it for so long. Must be only the Bloody Terror. And the Fuaf will get the bonus, or get the 16. Hmm. I've been without the numbers for so long that I've forgotten what everything means. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that down in somewhat short order. You don't stand much of a chance. Atlantean. Let's get Might up fast. Alright, I don't have to worry about Stalker for another two minutes, so... I want to put the damage on the Atlantean. I don't want to have both the Atlantean and the Stalker chasing me at once. It would be really annoying.
All right, keeping it back, doing the damage. Uh-oh, double Atlantean. That's even worse. Oh, hey, random clover. Nice. Thank you, lucky event. Ooh, I'm not getting XP like I should. Let's fix that. All right. Max out spinach might. Time to max out the Patronus box might. The red numbers are crits, right? Ooh, that's lucky. All right, Stalker is about a minute away. They're being kept back by both the wind and the Serrande. One of them's down. That's good. That is not an evolution chest, but I need some more luck anyway. All right, red gem, red gem. Throwing this box. Ooh, don't think I'm going to break 100 per hit. Oh, either way, they're down. That means I'm clear for Stalker when it throws up in a minute. Well, 30 seconds. Hurry, hurry. All right, my movement speed is not terrible. I am very good at keeping the enemy back between the weapons. So yeah, as long as I don't get like really arrogant and go without a wake, I should be able to clear this with no problem. In one try. Suddenly a never before seen random event where I get slowed down horribly shows up. And it's time to go left. Well, I gotta make sure I should hit it. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's not taking any damage. Well, I guess that clarifies it finally. Guess? Why do I keep saying I guess? Dang filler words. Uh oh, crap battle. Oh, that came way too close. Man, I can't even see him underneath the numbers. But he's there, waiting for his chance to pounce. Oh, poor Miog, having to deal with stalkers every day. I see you. And you're back, you're off. I took you out. Alright, festive wind time. Oh yeah, now it's wind more. Laser beams of doom. Huh. Yep, yeah, it's walking time. Nothing they can do about this buzzsaw of destruction. Another clover. <laughs> and an Atlantean to go with it, huh? Ooh, an Atlantean, too. Oh no, I can deal with two at once. There shouldn't be another stalker. Though of course those words will be eaten, I bet. Ooh, nearly got avoided that one. Alright. Eh, I don't feel particularly interested in going after the other two, but I will once I take these down. Hey, Arcana. Will I go arrogant and not take awake? No, I'm getting awake. I've lost too much time to failed runs. Do not go awake. Hey, look at that damage fly. It's doing a thousand to hit now. Crazy good. Definitely one of the best evolutions. And it makes every other weapon do more damage. So definitely one of the absolute best loot evolutions. Ah, level up swim good. And random always. <laughs> Only two out of that. Four. Well, it looked like two. 
surprised we aren't getting limit breaks out of it. Chests yet. Hmm. Do I want to go after the bone ball? Nah. That's always kind of annoying. I mean, granted, it's kind of in the way, so I might run into it on accident anyway. But we will see. We will see. Yep, Bone Zone's got nothing on me on. Alright, time to start workshopping titles. Meog enters the Bone Zone. No, that's lazy. Uh, how festive can you get in the Bone Zone? There we go. Festive wins in the Bone Zone. Oh, wait, ran to the right. Huh. This is recording, right? Yeah, good. Uh, I've had so many headset problems. It shouldn't be the ports, but it's a brand new computer. And it shouldn't be the headset, and it's also pretty dang new. It should not be the old cord, the extension cord, because that has not had anything that could possibly have damaged it in the years I've had it. And it just keeps disconnecting randomly for no reason. Ooh, crap battle's getting me. That's unexpected. But, on the other hand, Festive Winds is very strong. And will save me. Hey, I have to get 9 health back now. That's odd, I guess it's percentage based. Because I have more health because of my tag mill. Why do I have so much health? It doesn't give that much. I don't have Divine Bloodline. Do I get health from stealing hearts? There's the egg. Bye bye, Gold Rain. I only need silver. Okay, it's still going. Hard to tell sometimes. Like, I'll randomly get pops, but nope, audio is still recording. both ends. Bye-bye, bossy dude. Is that three digits? That is three digits. Wait. It was doing four to the Atlanteans, right? Is it percent based or something? Percent based plus raw damage? Hmm. Why am I bothering to circle? Alright, to the 25 minute goal we go. da 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 da, -da. Heck, even without the healing, she would have tore through this. Festive Winds and Silver Winds are just that good of a weapon. Like I said, I... Th well, aside from Megalomania being invincible, I do think she is the best one out of the DLC. All other ones have some problems, and Baba Oni can do some stuff at the high end, but... I can't run that with a single. In fact, that one's going to be terrifying with a single. But like, what am I going to do with it? Uh-oh. Well, got, got to be out of bounds. But I still need... I mean, Sound Old Sanctuary still needs to be done for the raw might. Well, on the other hand... Quite the conundrum. Oh wow, these things are durable if they're surviving even a second in this rage of festivity. Man. Why do they have so much health? That's crazy. Yeah, look at them. They're taking like thousands of damage. No wonder so many other characters couldn't get through. They did nothing to these guys with so much health. I wonder what poor bastard's gonna get stuck with replaying this level. Next. Well, I mean, if it's gonna be someone like Maru... Well, heck. I think any of the Oskari characters would get through no problem. 
Tied to the Foscari characters, I would easily say are much better than the Mount Moon spell. The Mount Moon spell ones, I'd say, are the weakest. Since the only ones I consider super good are, well, Megalomania and Beyond here. Everyone else is okay at best. Even Bava and Oni is very weak if you don't build her in the right way. I think everyone from the Tides is good. Rotten Ghoul has his power. You know, Sammy is Sammy. Jen and Eves are very strong. Luminaire is also very good. Eleanor is great. Well, I had a lot of difficulty with her, but she's totally good. I swear it. Kaether is probably the weakest, and that's more just because Flash Air was terrible. Her actual gains and stats and stuff is incredible. And once she gets Millionaire, it's all bam, bam, I win. And Maruto is exceptionally good. And you go Divine Bloodline, it's basically another... He has a, you know, an innate desire to go with Divine Bloodline because he has Legionary. Heck, I might not even go Silent Old Sanctuary with him. Might just not be necessary. It goes to 30 minutes? Did I tag on Endless on mistake? This doesn't feel right. And yet, she's still not threatened whatsoever. Just because so much damage. Yeah, occasionally one might get through, but she'll just heal up anything she gets hit with. Pretty nice, eh? Yeah, yeah like, like I've been saying, I don't think any of the other Moonspell characters would have this much of an ease. I sure Echo Knight's pretty insane, but for raw numbers, it's not as great as some other things. Oh, of course, this is happening. Why wouldn't it? No. Second Arcana chest never popped, did it? No. That's weird. Get away from me, gems. Get away. was that? Oh man, they're very strong. Still, they can't outdo the healing. And just a couple levels will pop up more for the barrier in. Not a lot of overall destructions, but Bone Zone is weird. Sort of famine or more famine. Oh, look at all those little hearts going away. Look what you did, Death. You killed Love. Yeah, 37.9 million. It feels like, but you know, considering how safe she was, it really feels a lot bigger than that, eh? Anyway, that's Bone Zone done. Time for the boss rash, which will be much more invigorating, I suppose. Time to step into the boss rash with Myong Moonspell. Alrighty, let's get this stuff out of the way first. No dice, nothing negative here. Only the positives. Bracer does work, Spellbinder works. Heck, in fact, I think this is the weapon that gets the most benefit out of everything, isn't it? It does get faster with Bracer. Spellbinder affects how long it stays on the field. Obviously, Candelabra increases its size. Duplicator adds another petal. Spinach does damage. Empty Tome increases fire rate. Heck, even Pomerola affects it. Yep, of course I get plants right away. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, might as well get the NFT and start burning them up as quick as possible. Well, I should not have done that one. One was bad enough, the second was really bad. Okay, that's enough. Right, because of how messed up the chests are here, I need to make sure that I get it ASAP.
So maximize the damage, really. Maximize the experience. Maximize the weapon. Wow. That was timing, eh? It will take a bit, so I can put off Pomola until I get spinach up, at least. Other damage effects, though, are basically done. Oh, gotta go hit it. I still don't know what this does, but I hit it. I think it spawns bosses. Or waves, or something. But it definitely has some effect. Oh, wow, they're durable. Huh. Oh, tier G's a win. No, I did not want to grab that many of them, but... Track Dwarf is going to attract things. Who knew, eh? Eh. Right. More. I want more enemies. Hmm. I should probably... That would be better to try and grab a Track Dwarf first. Before doing anything. Or Corona's box, geez, that's like the complete opposite end of viability. Okay, they'll be forced off. Wow, you're getting very close. One down. That's very good. If I can get all of them down before things start getting really dicey, they'll be good chance of a win on the first try here. Bracer? Why did I get Bracer? I know Bracer does affect it, but it doesn't really do that much. Whoa, they got pushed in by the wave. Alright, let's make it bigger then. Really could do with some more Pomerola though. I'll get Bracer out of the pool, at least. Then King Labrador, since I'm here. Hey, that's lucky. Oh, get that Pomola going. Oh, that's a later chest, so save that. Yep, just Clover. Not the most helpful of pickups. Ah, oh, I still don't have empty Tome up either. Oh, oh that was dicey. Spellbinder it is. Ah, Tome. I think everyone's pick for the best passive. Hey, Festive Winds. Now they're doomed. Not that they had much success as it was, but now they've got nothing but party time. Excellent. Yeah, I have no idea how to do the Phase. Look, it's been like 20 years since I've seen it. Yeah, I'd prefer Wake or Serpande, just in case something happens. Man, Crab Battle. Those were some big claws, Crab Battle. Minotaur gets pushed back so hard by knockback. Alrighty, seven minute mark. We're a ways away. But we're going strong. Increasingly strong, in fact. Still a lot to go, though. Oh, that's my damage about peaked. Well, unless a random event gives me throw in this box, though. That could always happen. Man, a lot of chest dropping. Guess when you have actually offense and can take down the bosses, that means you can actually get chests. Alright, good old empty tome maxed out. 
Once again, I go with I guess. Well, at least that one has more validity. Since that was sort of a quantitative statement. Oh boy, the eyes are here. They are waiting, waiting for their chance to see, to gaze into your soul, to know everything. They know when you are happy. Because it's when you're not watching these videos. Oh! Thanks for watching. Alright, easy breezy. Shouldn't have any trouble here. They hurt me, I hurt them worse. And... I get random events, like, heck of good. Hey, there's some Ender games. You know, I never actually read that. Or read... What was that? What is that? Well, that's odd. Is this being caused by festive winds? Or is it being caused by me turning the things back on? Yeah, those are flashing really strangely. Does this happen in inverse? No, obviously not. I've seen boss rash inverse. Uh oh. Uh, now it's stalker's time to wreck everything. Oh right, I can actually hurt them. Yeah, see? Anyway, they, oh yeah, they're green because they're getting festive winded. And they are not sur going to survive this for very long. Yeah, watch that. Maddener's already gone. Which one's next? Obviously Drowner's going to be last. And it's Stalker, then Illusionist. Uh-oh. Man, even this is not getting through the big bots. What a ridiculously over-tough enemy. Heck, I think Ender went down easier. Yeah, he's down. I won. Hmm. No, it's like only a hundred letters for a title, so I can't make some sort of haiku in the have it make remote sense. Well, any haiku I make would have no sense whatsoever. Do haiku. And there's a drowner gone. Well, duration, if you don't mind. But yeah, here is just a perfect example of a vacation as to why I think Myung's the second best character from the heck, any of the DLCs. She took down the giant robots, which gave Mina death by herself with no problem. She barely got hit. Well, I suppose we'll know for certain how powerful it could be with the Gyor 2 Dan wave. He is not top tier. There's no way. Yeah, look at that. Look at that incredible difference in power between her and so many other characters. They are getting crushed here. Man, Yon Crushes the Boss Rash is totally a good video title. Ah, but fest getting festive in the bone zone. Well, only 26.3 million, but it definitely felt a lot stronger than that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And with two first try victories, Myung takes us to 188. 188, really. 180 and 181 on the Beswick checkoff. Well, told you she was strong. And you, well, you didn't offer any comments, so I don't know if you believe me or not. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thanks for all your support in the forms of likes if you did, dislikes if you didn't. Comments if there's anything you want to say, subscriptions to support the channel. Have a good day and keep messing.